Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Riviera, the Promised Land, blind. So, we're almost at the end of this area. It, uh, it feels like it. We're definitely building up to seeing whatever that flying shape that's been going everywhere is. What was the artist trying to say? <laughs> it's all squishy. I wonder why. Why is it distorted? There's another statue. Squishy squish! <laughs> Okay, what about the other statue? This one's squishy, too! It feels so weird! Lita, you shouldn't touch it. You never know what may happen. Keep touching the statues. Mushy, mushy! Lita! <laughs> I'm just curious. No? Okay. I was wondering if you keep touching them, it'll activate them and you'll get a fight or something. What a weird flame. What should I do? Hold hands over it, or nothing. I know it's not wise. I know this is a bad idea that will probably deplete my uh, maximum HP. But I have the urge to put my hand over it. Stop, you'll burn yourself. Are you okay? Power up. Like you see, you just gotta do stuff in this game because, <laughs> you know, it's like you see something and it's like, this is obviously a bad thing and then, Oh, you got a power-up! And then other times it's just, this is a really stupid bad thing that you shouldn't do, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And it is a stupid bad thing to do. <laughs> you just never know. I'm just glad you're alright. But that was a stupid idea. I agree. I'm sorry. The game has to reward you sometimes for doing stupid things. Oh, this is a strange flame, but it's better than being in the dark. What happens if I do it again? This time I get burned. It's warm. <laughs> okay. Okay, we we had fun in here. Let's go forward. These statues were made by sprites. How can you tell? They don't seem evil. They seem more friendly. I know what you mean. Sprites devour them. Okay, enemies. Demons. All right, what should we do? versus Bolio's Necro Team. Let's go. These guys could be a bit tougher. Um, let's first of all see what the tactic suggests. There's space, the evil mage will summon an undead demon, so it's a good idea to defeat him first. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, there we go. So HP, he's just called evil mage and we got murmurs. So basically, we just want to target him first. Now, I could suggest that we do like a magic formation, and that would work out. I kind of still want to do an attack formation, but maybe this is better. Well, it's, it's weird. It's like, do you have one person that you want to tank, or do you want have multiple people that you want to attack? Like, I mean, we're going to be doing... I'm still going to do an attack formation. I mean, it should still work out pretty much the same. Okay, some basic items, and then I might want to experiment with the hourglass. Just see how that works out. Everyone ready? Now, this is mostly just the same enemies that I think we've already fought before. Gosh dang it. It's a bit unfortunate. It seems like she's going to target uh, the wrong one. Okay, so... Yeah, we just need to first build up our attack. Okay, that's doing a fair amount of damage. Oh my gosh, like, zero damage whatsoever from him. Gosh dang it. We don't have anything to counter poison, do we? We just have to out-heal it? Alright, so basically we're gonna save, like, um our overdrive basically for arrow attacks and see if we can just target the mage because this battle will get bad if we don't take care of him first okay I can't really you can't really target the mage right now which is unfortunate so okay but that's random so that actually has a chance of hitting him so that's a good thing that I can do. 
Like, this is random too, but it's really low, doesn't do anything really good. Same with this. So I think I'm just going to keep using this for the time being. Oh man, they're both poisoned? Okay. Would have been helpful to have read up on those guys. I should have checked and seen some of their skills. Like, the fact that they both poison, that means that we end up taking double the damage than if we had just one person up front. Okay, she's already targeting him, so there we go. Okay, so we just need one hit, and he's down. And then this fight is just completely straightforward. And, I, and again, I'm not going to worry about that guy potentially using Kamikaze, because clearly that hasn't been a problem. Like, really, we're just racing against the poison at this point. That's the only real concern we have. Like, he uses cast magic, barely does anything. The poison, though, is going to really hurt us. Oh, I like that. The thing is, is that Lena's going next, so... I think I'll just use this for now, even though we have a full overdrive bar. But the thing is, is that I know she's got her level 3 ready to go. And I'm pretty sure that's going to take the mage out. Watch it hit everyone except the mage. Okay, good. Oh, come on. Alright, so that's one down. And the rage meter is full. We might actually be able to take that guy out right away. If we're lucky. <laughs> Perfect damage. That's our first perfect. Right to zero, exactly. So we don't have to worry about the Kamikaze, although that may have been actually better. I'm not sure. Given we don't know how strong these guys are. Yeah, sheesh, those guys actually hit pretty, pretty dang hard. At the very least, we know we just have to finish these two off. Okay, who is taking more damage at the moment? Ayn is definitely getting a bit in trouble. Hmm. Sure. We just we just need to start doing some more damage. So. And these guys have been annoyingly getting those guards off. It's starting to really add up. Okay, the only thing I can really have her do is the long bow. It's going to be random who it hits. Do I want to just... All allies... Is this like a speed-up thing now that I think about it? That might be what that is. It says weight inverted. I'm going to assume that means that our weight was actually improved a little bit. Because otherwise, why would they even give us that? <laughs> Okay, he's still targeting the right one. Uh... Okay, that's the thing, is that against these guys I definitely kind of prefer to use the multi-hand attacks. Uh, because so often these type of enemies just get these guards off. So if you just use those single hit attacks, you're just really going to end up screwing yourself over <laughs> with all the misses. Okay, we're a bit in trouble now. We really desperately need the healing. Okay, in fact, uh... Yeah. So we need Fia to just kind of heal for a bit, and we might need to do a rotation as well. Yeah. Does poison also stack? I, I don't think so. I think it's been doing about the same. We could just use a level 1 for the time being. Hopefully this does some decent damage. He's almost done. Okay. So we don't really have a good way to guarantee the hit 
we want. So what I'm going to actually do, I think, is I want to just do a, pos a position shift because we haven't actually taken advantage of this. So we're going to rotate left. Um, or we could even flip. You know what? Let's flip. Sure. Okay. And she still gets a turn. Okay, longbow, finish him off. Perfect. And now we don't have to worry as much about them just immediately dying. Yeah, she needs to use this, otherwise she's just gonna die. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, she'll pretty much have to use that every turn if we don't want to, uh... Yeah, end up having things go badly here. Okay, now he gets a turn, and thankfully Lena has got some more health, so she should be able to soak most of this damage up. Oh, she is definitely a bit spongier though. And now she's poisoned too, but she should be able to survive like another hit or two. Okay, we can use the level 1 on that, or we can use the level 2 on that. gonna use the level one I think okay so that fills his rage again oh my gosh did the poison actually wear off on her oh that is good yeah another reason I guess for switching to the back because the poison does eventually wear off it's just they kept on reapplying it so they've just been poisoned this whole time Okay, she doesn't have any sort of special, so all she can do is use the longbow. He's almost at rage. Oh, sheesh. Hmm. Well, she's almost dead, so you know what? Let's flip back. Then I don't feel as bad about doing uh, something like attack again. Okay, he's gonna get another rage off, but we are... Oh, she's so close to getting, like, uh, this one off, which would guarantee kill him. I think we're just gonna have to chance it with the level 2. Hope this works out. If both of these hit and they don't under uh, damage... Oh, gosh dang it, the guard! Okay, but he's at level 1, so Ein, you can totally finish this. You just need to hit. Hit with anything and this is over. We got him. Whew. That's the first battle in which I actually started making use of uh, positioning. Because <laughs> that poison actually really adds up a ton. That's a pretty good score. Never mind, that's a terrible score. <laughs> it felt good compared to other battles, but... Uh. <laughs> the demons are stronger than I imagined. Oh, I'm glad the search was cancelled. There could have been injuries. Yes, Grandfather was right. But we can't just leave things like this. That's true. Okay, uh... What is our status? Is everyone still, like, really... Or does everyone recover after battles? Also, what does that mean? Like, she has a music note, she has hearts. Is that, like... Is that the actual affection system? Hmm. Because it's only with them. I only just noticed that now. Okay, so anyway, let's keep investigating things. Oh, this is a strange flame. But it's better than being in the dark. What should I do? Okay, let's do it again! So apparently only one of them did something. It's a statue of a gallant looking knight. Again, just the same things as before. What if I do it again? Yeah, okay, I think it's just the same thing, so we'll go forward. A little bit... Okay, we're going upstairs again, by the looks of it. 
can't go back now. True, with this many demons, it'd be too dangerous. So our only option is to go forward. It seems so. I we owe you an apology. It's our fault that you got involved in this. If we hadn't forced you to come... I wanted to come, so don't blame yourselves. Fine. Anyway, it's... First check the spiral staircase. These stairs keep going around and around. I'm starting to feel dizzy. I can't take it anymore. Sorry, Lena. We can't rest yet. All right, I... <gasps> What's with all the scary paintings on the ceiling? How creepy. They're pictures of demons, but why are they here? Can we check that again? How much higher does this go? Okay, we'll check the chest. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, we're gonna open it. Gotta be ready to react, though, for when it says it's a trap. Yep. Okay, what is the key that I have to put in? An arrow trap! Okay. Okay. It's a timing one. Gosh dang it, did I miss it? Oh, I just got it. That was close. I was definitely on, like, the edge there. We did it! What's inside? Is it RNG again? Check it out! Yep, once again. And we get a new rapier! So I can throw away that old one. Which is... You know, it's pretty good. Uh, because we were already over halfway done with this one, so we can now get rid of this one. Let's make good use of it. Okay, no point checking again. Let's keep going forward. We're at the Moonlit Courtyard, a well-maintained courtyard, complete with a fountain. Beyond here lies the Sealed Tower. And that's gotta be the final tower of this area, right? Right? Okay. Is this the courtyard? Looks like it. Huh? Did you hear that? Nope. Didn't hear anything. No, I did you hear anything? I mean, I obviously did, but I'm gonna just be oblivious. Nope, didn't hear a thing. What was it? It sounded like metal clanging. Something metal. I wonder what it was. Check the purple flowers. Oh, they're beautiful. Fia, I was wondering. Yes? What are these flowers called? Those are moon lilies. They only bloom during a full moon. And they wither away before morning. They don't look too healthy. How come? It's not morning yet. They're withering. Hmm. Moon lilies have withered away. Oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, so I think before we get involved in any more battles, that uh, I'm going to call this an episode here. So, yep, once again, we're making progress slowly and steadily. I think we're finally actually seeing the potential end. I think the pre the first area uh, was also had like eight sections, didn't it, or something like that? So maybe there's about an average that an average length that each of these uh, acts kind of goes on for. So we'll see. So I can't promise we'll get to the end of it, but I will dang well try my best. So thank you all so much for watching. May you soar like the amazing falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.